My undergraduate degree was in biomedical engineering, and there's a lot of engineering in pulmonary medicine. That's where I think I really started to have an interest in it, and then I've developed more of an interest in lung cancer as time went on. What keeps me excited is all of the new technology and advances that are being made in early detection of cancer and trying to make a real difference in survival and outcomes for patients. Key areas that I've focused on is a lot of interventional pulmonary work, which is having to do with lung cancer or management of airway diseases. There's a lot of different bronchoscopy procedures. All of these procedures are done with a flexible bronchoscope where we're going into the airway with a uh, scope and looking at the airway and then we're introducing instruments into the airway to, to take biopsies or to remove tumors or to place stents. We're investigating farther and farther out into the lung and really going into places of the lung that we've not been able to reach before. You know, it's always very interesting to see what the technology can do. It's definitely still on the cutting edge. We're still, you know, seeing more and more technology coming out. One of the goals that has been set over the last five to 10 years is that we want to try to get to the point where we can actually diagnose and treat an early stage lung cancer at the same time. That's got a lot of challenges, but there's a lot of technology that's being developed that may give us that opportunity within the next five to 10 years. For our community, this is all new. We're bringing technology and procedures that really haven't been seen here before. Over the next couple of years, I think there will be more and more procedures and opportunities for patients with different problems to have their problem taken care of locally in a less invasive way than it was in the past.